I am not a very good friend. I've taken an Arduino and I've programmed it with my volume library to create what I think are convincing cricket sounds. Take a listen. So, uh, this is possible with that volume library because I can do volume control with 8 bits. So I can fade the cricket in and out, make it random volumes. It's just another thing to help sell it. So what you do with this project is you tie it to a battery and you hide it. So I'm going to put this in a project box and I'm going to put neodymium magnets on the box. And I'm going to hide it in my buddy's vent. So I'm going to reach in as far as I can and click it in there. And this thing can last for months, by the way, because of the awesome glib library, which I've also used in the sketch. So glib can take an 80 mega uh, microcontroller, or honestly, it's compatible with a lot of them, and put it down into like microamp usage when it's in sleep mode. So if you tie this to a 2500 milliamp uh, hour battery, you can run this for supposedly months. Uh, is what all the battery calculators are telling me. Because this is demo mode. So in demo mode, it's just going to be making sounds all the time, so you can test your speaker. But by changing one variable in the sketch, it goes to sleep for random intervals of like three minutes to three hours before it chirps again. So even if you hear this cricket and you go looking for it, the minimum amount of time before it chirps again is going to be three minutes, and you might not even be looking in the right spot. My cat doesn't like it. So it's probably the most incessant uh, Arduino buzzer thing you can make. So I've, pr uh, I've provided the sketch down below. Feel free uh, to go try it out. Build your own Cricut. Let me know how that goes. And I will let you know how it goes with him uh, when I put the shit in his vent. Yeah, my cat. Cats really don't like the Cricut sketch. They are not too happy about it. But yeah, uh, feel free to make your own crickets and let me know how it goes because I'm really excited to see how people react to this in practical use.